Hey everyone, and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey, and today we're going to be looking at how to fix the over sharpening, joystick calibration for better control, and get the display to cap at 60 Hz on the Ambernic RG405M. Full disclaimer here, these fixes are extremely experimental and may or can brick your device if you do something wrong. Be very, very careful here and decide ahead of time if you're okay with that risk. I have to put this warning even though the chances of that happening are extremely low. It's not irreversible, just want you to be aware. Another major point to discuss is that by doing these fixes, you will not be able to do over the air updates if Ambernic releases any. It will boot loop your device and you'll have to flash the Ambernic firmware all over again and lose your data. I'll share how to revert these changes as well so you can do those updates if you'd like or if you just want to reverse these changes in general. This will not revert the sharpness fix, however, only the 60 Hz and joystick calibration. So keep that in mind if you really like stock's version of sharpness. Let's jump in. All of these mods come courtesy of the Gamma Squeeze via Discord. So huge thanks to him for these. Let's start with the display fix and joystick calibration. This will give you a better refresh rate of 59.997 Hz and better joystick control. Download the first link in my description, and you also want to install the Termix app, which I've also linked in the description. Extract the zip we downloaded, and now copy the flash folder to the root of your internal storage. Do not copy it to your SD card. It has to be internal storage. Open the Termix app and type in SU and enter. Now type CD space forward slash SD card forward slash flash and enter. Now sh space flash termux dot sh and enter. Wait for the process to finish and you should see flashing complete. Reboot your device and that's it. The refresh change doesn't take effect unless you turn your screen off and on after a reboot. So just push the power button off and on. Now for the sharpening fix. Download the third link in my description. Extract the zip we downloaded and now copy the sharpness fix folder to the root of your internal storage. Again, do not copy it to your SD card, has to be internal storage. This also requires the previous fix we did to work. So don't do this step without doing the first fix that we've done. Open the Termux app and type in SU and enter. Now type cd space slash sd card slash sharpness fix and enter.
Now sh space flash sharpness fix dot sh and enter. Wait for the process to finish and you should see flashing complete. Reboot your device and that's it. You can stop here if everything went perfectly. If you run into an error during this script that says original build prop and dump build prop MD5 sum are not equal aborting, now you'll have to do some trial and error. There's no negatives here, just have to try a few files. First, delete the sharpness fix folder. Download the fourth link in my description and do all of the previous steps again for the sharpness fix only. So extract, open the Termux app, type in the commands, and see if you get the error again. If you get it again, repeat this process with the fifth link. If the fifth link still doesn't work, pop into the Discord in my description and we'll see how we can help. One of the three different scripts should work according to Gamma. It's just a matter of the right one for your specific device. That's it for the fixes. You can stop here if everything went perfectly. If not, let's talk about reverting these changes in the event that Ambernic releases an update over the air, or you just want to revert. Download the sixth link in my description, extract the zip we downloaded, and now copy the factory folder to the root of your internal storage. Once again, don't copy it to your SD card, has to be internal storage. Open the Termux app and type in SU and enter. Now type CD space slash SD card slash factory and enter. Now SH space flash Termux factory dot SH and enter. Wait for the process to finish and you should see flashing complete. Reboot your device and that's it. And that's everything I have for this video. If you run into any other issues or questions, jump into the Discord in my description and the RG405M channel where we can help sort it out. Hope you liked the video and hope you all have a good one.